State your business. Balance in all things. That's what we're doing today. The confluence of energies around that vessel is truly disturbing. My skin crawls with the wrongness of it. We had reached the limit of my ability to help you, Tick Man. I mean, I don't think you did much but give me a vessel. Go to Ophiol, the High Thorn Speaker. Arthur will carry you. If you wish it. Oh yeah, I definitely wish it. Only he knows enough about these ancient magnets to undo the corruption that taints your materials. Go quickly. You do not want to hold that vessel longer than you must. Speak to Ophra and cleanse the filled dress vessel. Oops. Keep your distance, Mainlander. Alright, take me there, puppy. Sure thing, hop on. And off we're going. It's a spooky looking bit of magic you got going on there. Makes my back itch. Hopefully I will know what to do with it, probably. Hold on tight. This ride is about to get a little bumpy. It's a very talkative deer here. Maybe it's a druid. He did switch from one animal to another. You're on an errand from Dorian, right? I always wanted to meet her. The Thorn Speaker tells some interesting stories. Like how and she Ophiel met. Ha, huh, that's a good one, yeah. I'm not supposed to talk about that though. <laughs> Why are you talking about it? This little undead deer's got a lot to say. So anyway, I keep trying to convince Ofrar that a goat form would be amazing. But he always starts talking about dignity and I stop listening. So this guy wants to be a goat. Lucky for you, I am sure footed as they come. Now he's going to look for a watch. Just don't look down. Nearly there, good. Been traveling up all around these hills. O4 is dim. Oh, look at this. Tell Ofra I said hello. Um Okay. Why don't you just come in here and tell him yourself? It's like right here. Oh, look at that thing. It's got him a companion. There is a rhythm to life. Can you feel it? I recognize the power you have brought to me. I felt it in my bark and in my bones before you crested the rise. This is all magic. It has been twisted, warped. We must act quickly if we are to remain untouched by it. Strike fast. The power you bring here is weighted heavily against life. We must tip the scales. All right. So, I guess we're going to begin the ritual. This land is generous and strong, and its heart thrums beneath us. The balance does not move easily. I need to target something first. But where there is death, there is also life. I don't have a target. I need a time. An inescapable cycle, as sure as the sea is vast. No creature can thwart it for long. Back, foul magic! Ah, I don't the cycle have a continues. 
Is that it? Do we cleanse it? Your little helper over there didn't even do nothing. Just sat and watched. Have you come to learn? Alright, balance of all things. We will take what we have learned here and see what we can be done about the rest of Dressfar. For now, the Dress Vessel will be of use to you and Dorian. Give her my regards. She's an ally to the Thorn Speakers, always. Purified Lumber Sample. Tiny flowers have sprouted in the crevices. I have culled the corruption within the vessel. The Thorn Speakers will journey to Stormsong and begin the work of cleansing your lumber. Alright. Well, good. They're going to cleanse that lumber. We've got the iron. The shipbuilding is about to begin. So, we'll leave you off there. And tomorrow, we'll talk to Bound Sky and see what happens.